Um, Everything goes smoothly this morning? Well, they s put lots of stuff on me and poked a hole in me, so I guess we're ready to go. Perfect. My OETA colleague, Kathy Tatum, is ready to finally get the procedure she wished had been done 20 years ago. Nervous, but um, happy to know I'm not going to have to deal with it much longer. Once they're done with the surgery, I'm done. Tatum was born with a heart condition called supraventricular trachycardia, or SVT for short. It causes her heart to beat way too rapidly on most days. And during bad episodes of SVT, she faints and has even ended up being rushed to the hospital on several occasions. But for years, she was told by her doctors it was nothing to worry about. It was either you're a little high strung, you're a little stressed. Maybe you had too much caffeine. Today, she has a cardiologist that knows exactly what SVT is and what to do about it. People can have a variety of different symptoms that may or may not lead to the proper diagnosis initially. Uh, there's been a study shown that 50% of primary care physicians will initially diagnose usually a woman with an anxiety disorder or panic attacks rather than what they really have, which is an arrhythmia causing their symptoms. Dr. David A. Sandler specializes in electrophysiology basically an electrician for hearts. Today he's performing what is called a catheterablation for a complete cure of Tatum's symptoms. What I'm doing now is I'm going to be putting three catheters into the vein in her leg. Now that he's in there, he can stimulate her heart and determine which type of SVT she has, find the faulty circuit and get rid of it. So she has the extra pathway near the normal circuitry of her own heart. This is by far the most common one. Dr. Sadler says there is an estimated 2 million Americans who suffer from SVT. He says once a patient has been to an ER or has needed medication for this condition, they should certainly be considered for this procedure, which today was a success. We were able to ablate the abnormal pathway, and we've demonstrated that it's not there anymore. Now we're just going to wait about 30 minutes, make sure it doesn't come back, and if it doesn't come back, she has a 1% or less chance of ever having her arrhythmia again, so we're very happy. Tatum shared her story so others with similar symptoms might investigate whether this treatment would be right for them. In Tulsa, Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma News Report.